Wall Street Memes Casino. I'm fine. And Sportsbook. Get a sign-up bonus of 200% up to $25,000 when joining today. Sign up now. Terms and conditions apply. Vote for IFL in this year's Sports Podcast Awards. Go to www.sportspodcastgroup.com and vote for us in Best Combat Sports Podcast and the Diverse Voices Awards categories. IFL Pod, available across all major streaming platforms now. This is Colin McGuigan for IFL TV. Delighted to be joined by Chev Clark in Belfast. Chev, it's finally here. How are you feeling this week? I feel good, man. I feel calm, comfortable. I spoke to Tommy McCarthy yesterday. Obviously, I'm from Belfast. I spoke to him and we get on quite well. He said this is the Tommy McCarthy 2.0. This is his time. You've never faced anyone on his level and that he feels like this is too big of a step for you. What do you make of that? What am I meant to make of it? He's a clown. People like that say funny things. In terms of Tommy and what he brings, what does he bring to the table for you on Saturday night that you need to be wary of? At the end of the day, he's going to be there. He's a, he's a fighter. Just need to be on my game. Just um, be sharp and, and not take him lightly. This is obviously a step up for you in class. And, and in terms of you and what you're going to do in the sport, you obviously have goals and aspirations very high. How would you rate your 2023? How would you rate? I think you progress nicely. I think 2024, you obviously are starting the year with a a step up straight away and you obviously want to be round about titles at the end of the year something British level is would that be right he's a smart guy you're a smart guy I think that, that was a fair analysis I um, yeah I think that's that's right um, I think I did uh, well last year um, obviously fought some good guys and I and I did well so you know just continued our trajectory this year and um, yeah hopefully we'll be uh, in amongst the titles later on in the year you won't have seen this, but when Eddie spoke about you and uh, Jake Paul previously, I tweeted about it to try and see about an interest. Tommy then jumped on that yesterday and said that the winner of this, he believes, should face someone like Jake Paul. What do you make of that? Is that the route that you would like to take this year? Would you like that fight? Because obviously you rate yourself higher than Jake Paul. Well, Jake don't want to fight me, so he might fight the clown. <laughs> have you had a conversation on trying to make that fight already? Mate, Ed, Eddie told him who I was. He went on and done his research and we ain't, you ain't heard nothing ever since, have you? But well, you're saying categorically you would take it if he was open to that fight? Yeah, I'd beat him if he wants. If he wants a quick whipping up, I'll do that. By the end of 2024, where do you want to be, Chef? If we're sitting here in 2025, what do you want to have achieved? I can't tell you that. You're not meant to tell your people you're not meant to tell people your aspirations and dreams. So I can't tell you that. But I'll be winning. Last one from me. How does this end on Saturday night? Chef wins. Like it always ends. Any means necessary? Any means necessary. Chef Clark, always a pleasure. Thank you, mate. My man, thank you very much. I'm fine.